Mr. Pinto invest, invest one fifth of his capital at X percent at six percent, one by five at six percent, one third at ten percent, one third at ten percent, and the remaining at one percent. Remaining, I right? told. So, one by five plus one by three is three plus five, eight by fifteen. So seven by fifteen. Remaining is seven by fifteen at ten percent. Not ten percent, one percent. Sorry about that. I will fix that. Each rate being simple interest per annum, then the minimum number of years required for the cumulative interest income from these investments to equal or exceed this capital. Nice. Find the weighted average interest rate. Find it's all simple interest. One by three, one by five, and seven by five. Find the weighted average rate. Or one by five is five by fifteen. Sorry, three by fifteen. 5 by 15, 7 by 15. So 3 into 6 percent plus 5 into 10 percent plus 7 into 1 percent divided by 15. 3 into 6 is 18. 5 times 50, 18 plus 50 plus 7 divided by 15. 68 plus 7, 75 by 15. This is 5 percent. The weighted average of all of this is five percent. So it's like saying he's taken his whole capital and put it in for five percent. The cumulative interest income from these investments to equal or exceed his initial capital. Interest should be equal to capital. You're getting five percent per year, simple interest. Two years you'll get ten percent. Three years you'll get fifteen percent. Twenty years you'll get hundred percent. Twenty years exactly he'll have a capital in interest equal to capital. So cumulative interest from these investments to equal or exceed it, equal in twenty years. Twenty is our answer.